Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be doing a full face using Milk Makeup. Milk Makeup has got to be in my top three favorite brands. I don't think there's a day that I'm not wearing a Milk Makeup product and if there, if I'm not, um, that's a sad day. But <laughs> I did purchase a lot of these products and I also got sent a bunch. So thank you to Max and the Milk Makeup team for helping me out with this video. This video isn't sponsored by the way. I just love their products so much and I can't stop reaching for them every day and also I find their packaging to be so aesthetically pleasing. I just love the minimalistic look. So before we get into it, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already, that would mean so much and let's get to it. The first product I'm going to be using is the Watermelon Brightening Face Mask. Um, if you're newer to my channel, I do have an oilier skin type. Um, more oily in the center and on the outskirts a little bit more normal. I used this mask a few times. I really like it. I like the application process. I like how you don't have to waste any on your fingers. Um, and I like how it disperses an even layer. It dries very quickly. It takes about like seven-ish minutes. It's a really great one to apply before doing your makeup if you feel like being bougie. <laughs> also, if you're wondering what the heck's on my lip, it's because I've been biting them because I've been a little anxious. <laughs> and I um, then decided to try one of those, try the new Bite Beauty lip stains and it stained my raw lips, so please enjoy that. <laughs> also, around my hairline, it's a little bit blotchy because I just uh, dyed my hair yesterday. <laughs> So just disregard those two things. The only tricky part is getting in those nose creases. So I'm just gonna take them on my finger and apply it in that area. I'm just gonna go zen out for a few minutes and I will be back. I'm back, do I look brightened? I think I do, it does really, I do really see a difference after I use that mask. And I like how it rinses off super easily. Um, I did have to switch my shirt though because I dribbled it all down my chest and it looked like I had a Pepto-Bismol accident. But anyways, that's why a little wardrobe change. The next product I'm going to be using is the cooling water. This is a product that I've had for a while and I never really s saw a difference in the, my skin after using it. I've used a little, like quite a bit of it I would say. This is more so of a product that actually just feels good while you're applying it, but I don't see any like lasting like results or anything. I like using this product when I wake up and I have really puffy eyes. It feels really nice. I don't think this is a need from the brand. Next, I have two of their lip care products. I have the Kush Lip Glaze and also the Kush Lip Balm. And the lip balm, I have the shade Bubble. They recently came out with tints and I was really excited about that. I really love sheer products that benefit my chronically dry lips, so I'm just gonna swatch it so you can get a feel for the shade. This is the shade Bubble. I'm not gonna be using this today. I'm going to use the Kush Lip Glaze because I just need a little bit more, more, more moisture today. I really like this one. It's highly moisturizing and it's quite minty and I really like it. It's green tinted, but it doesn't look green on the lips and it gives a really beautiful shine. I like wearing this under lipsticks too, but I like wearing this at night. It kind of, it's very soothing upon application. So if you have really sore, dry lips, like putting this on is very soothing. I really like it for that. I have two of their primers. I have the Luminous Blur Stick and also the Hydro Grip. Um, as you know, I've been absolutely in love with the Hydro Grip this month. I've been using it every day. It's the first primer I've ever actually fallen in love with. I truly do see the dif a difference in the longevity of my makeup when I wear this. This is the first primer that turned me into a primer believer before I was always like, a moisturizer will do the trick. It keeps my oil in control, but also doesn't strip me of looking still glowy and dewy. But this is amazing. I'm going to be using the Luminous Blur Stick today. This has kind of a golden shimmer to it. Um, I actually forgot I had this. I used this I think twice and I don't remember my thoughts on it So I'm excited to revisit it. I'm just gonna swipe this all over the skin I think I was covering my whole self with my mirror. Oh goodness It's definitely not hydrating whatsoever. It just does add a pretty nice glow. 
Let's see how a foundation acts on top of it. I actually don't remember my thoughts on it whatsoever. For foundation, they have two. Uh, they have their Blur Liquid, which is a matte foundation, and they also recently came out with the Sunshine Skin Tint. Um, the Blur Liquid was my favorite over the winter months. I use just a little bit because a little bit goes a long way, I find, and I don't like my foundations to be super full coverage. I find that it's not super mattifying. I find that it gives more of a natural finish, um, that, but that might just be like my skin prep. I just always use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of this. It has great coverage. It wears very beautifully during the day. It just is just it just keeps looking fresh all day and i do really love it when they recently came out with the sunshine skin tint i was like that's way up more in my alley because it's glowy and it's sheer and it also has spf 30 which is awesome so i'm going to be using this today this finish is really beautiful i've been trying it out for the past few months i did purchase one myself they changed up the packaging i bought this right when it came out i had the shade light and it was a little light it it suited me well when i had my winter <laughs> paleness but uh, i have the shade medium and that's the one i'm going to be using today because i still have a little bit of a tan it gives such a beautiful dewy look it is buildable it has kind of a light coverage but you can build it up to medium i like the application process there's a little like glass roller ball at the end it's the same packaging as their sunshine uh oil And it's just like fun to roll this on. I already know that this is going to be one of my favorite base products for of the summer. Um, so I'm just going to blend this out with my Anastasia A30 brush. And I'm just going to pat over that with a beauty blender like I do always, just to pick up any excess product and just to get rid of any lines from the brush. Okay, this weirdness on my nose, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was a zit, but it was like one of those zits where you felt it and you're like, oh my gosh, it's a volcano. Like, look out Hawaii, there's a new island coming. But then you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, it's the tiniest thing ever. But it was weird, It like my whole nose got swollen the other day and I was like what the heck but I think it I don't know it's just a dry patch right now it's really strange I am just gonna go quickly over those areas where I want a little bit more coverage it's very hydrating there's a bunch of good oils I think there's like avocado avocado <laughs> avocado and a few other really good oils in there Next I'm going in with the Flex Concealer and I'm sadly almost out of this so I really have to scrape the sides but this is this has been my favorite concealer I think I've ever tried honestly it's I got it like six months ago and it's my go-to one I grab it's just I love the formula of it and the blendability, blendability is like flawless you don't really have to work at it it blends up beautifully with a sponge or um, a brush and I just really like that and I'm just gonna go over those areas like once again and I'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender it's very long wearing and it's more of a natural finish and it never looks cakey which is amazing I'm using the shade light and it's quite um, yellow it's perfect for my skin tone my skin is more yellow has more of a yellow undertone to it. Next product I'm going to be using is their Blur and Set Powder. I don't really use too, too much powder. I usually just spot powder. I take a little bit on the end of my beauty blender and I go directly in this area because I've been finding that I've been creasing lately right here. Um, just around my eye area has been greasier than usual. I don't know. And then I will usually also set in these areas here. I also set my entire forehead because I have bangs. Because as the day goes on and I have oily skin, um, my bangs get kind of oily. So I just need this protective barrier. 
And then I take a little bit and I set on the cheeks right here, a little bit on the tip of my nose and my chin. But that's about it. I just take the tiniest, tiniest amount so the rest of my face looks radiant and glowy. I really like this powder because it still allows some glow to shine through. It's not chalky whatsoever and it also doesn't give that weird tightening feeling that some powders give. I'm now going to be using the gel brow. I've been using this this week and I find this better for people who have fuller brows but want to fill in those sparser areas. I mean you could get a good detailed brow using this but you would have to continuously sharpen it. But yeah, I just find this to be, I feel like this would be better if you are just looking for a product to fill in your more sparse areas. I like it because it's more of a waxy formula, so it gives more of a natural brow finish. I don't love mattifying brow products because it just doesn't look too natural to me. I like how natural of a brow look this does give. A little bit goes a really long way which is really nice because so I run through brow products like crazy I don't know if I super love that primer I used I feel like it does make the skin look a little bit cakey right now it looks like my like my foundations kind of setting on top sitting on top of my skin rather it just looking like skin Now for the Kush Brow Gels, they have a fiber one and also a clear version. I prefer the fiber one because I really love making my brows look, look as fluffy as possible. But the clear one is amazing, it does have an amazing hold. It's really great, but I just prefer the fibrous one. I really like the applicator size because it's you can, it really allows you to coat and get into all those brow hairs. Comparing this to the Glossier Boy Brow, I prefer the Glossier one just because it does add um, a more waxy finish and again I just like that look better just because it makes it look like natural hairs. This kind of has a matte finish but it still is really good. It gives a really nice fluffy fluffy brow effect. I'm just gonna zoom you in slightly so you can see the details. So this is looking quite, quite fluffy and I really like that. And once I combed all those brow hairs up, I will kind of flatten them down over here and keep the front very wispy. Oh, and I'm using the shade Grind. I'm just going to wipe off this powder. I don't need it anymore. I'm just taking it off with my beauty blender and the next product I'm going to be using and this was my first milk makeup pro uh, purchase and what really made me fall in love with the brand and it's the matte bronzer um, you guys know how much I love this product it's my number one bronzer in general I like it more than all my powder ones or whatever this is my number one it just is the perfect tone it's a little bit more yellow based I'm just blending that out with my go-to airbrush precision foundation brush from Sephora. Actually, I had bought this product when milk wasn't even available in Canada yet. It was only at, in the Sephora's in the States, so I bought it when I was in the States. You get so, so much product in here. I think I've had this one for like two plus years, and it's incredible. I can't get enough of it it just blends out beautifully every time and I'm doing my wave technique that I love so much so I'll just blend out the most over here and then I'll just kind of tap over the nose and on the cheeks itself just to give a natural skin kissed look and I do little circular motions just to blend that out I apply the bronzer directly onto my cheekbone just to give the most lifted effect. For highlighter, I have the Holographic Stick in Mars. The best way I found to use this is to melt a little bit on the back of your hand, so I'll just 
go back and forth like 20 times on the back of my hand just so I can get some of that melted off and then I will go off of this with my finger and then apply it to my cheekbones and this just gives a really natural effect and it's just it blends way better onto the skin because I used to apply it directly on with the tube and it just I found that it kind of removed some of the foundation but this way it just really melts into the skin and looks really natural and glossy it has more of a pink shift which is really cute I think um, when I do want more of a fun highlighter I do go towards pink shade shades because I think it's mo the most flattering fun highlighting shade And I'm also going to apply some down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bill. I'm just going to bring a little bit on top here. I want kind of more of a C shape. I haven't done that in a while. For my blush, I'm going to be using the Lip and Cheek in the shade Perk, which is a beautiful coral shade that leans more on the pink side instead of the orangey side. This gives the glossiest cheek look, so if you have really oily skin, I'd say stay away from this product. It is quite sheer, but it is buildable, and I love how it never looks splotchy whatsoever. It blends out effortlessly. So I'm gonna take some on my cheeks and also my nose and also my chin. Blush is one of my favorite steps in doing makeup, so I tend to go a little heavy. <laughs> But I'm just going to blend that out with my finger once again just because it blends cream products flawlessly into the skin. It is quite sheer but you can definitely build the shade up if you want to. But I don't mind my blushes going on sheer because better to build it up than have too much on and then being screwed and trying to <laughs> remove some. Yeah, so that's that shade on. It's really, really glossy, but it isn't like sticky glossy. It just looks really glossy. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using this eye pigment and I have the shade Hotel Lobby which is a really beautiful champagne shade. I use this when I'm too lazy to put on eyeshadow and I kind of just place it all over the lid and I'm going to do that today because it gives a really nice shimmery effect and I don't have any primer on my lids. I kind of just forgot and that's okay because they don't offer any eye primers. And I have tried using the Flex Concealer as an eye primer, but that didn't really go well. So we'll see how this works. I did have to clean it up a little bit. There was a lot of playtime using it and I there was absolutely no tugging it whatsoever. And now that it's set, it's like really set and it's matte, which is really nice. I am very excited to continue using this. I'm excited to um, do a look blended with this blended out on the lower lash line. For mascara, I'm using the Kush mascara. When this first came out, I, I purchased it and I didn't love it right away 
Um, it took some time for me to get used to the size of the brush because it is quite huge. <laughs> Also, I think, I don't know if I got like a weird formula, but mine was so liquidy that it was really hard to work with. But after a few weeks went by, it started drying out and then I was like, oh, I really like this. And this is my third tube of this and I just love the tube of it so much. It's very cute. The final full face look i really love how it turned out it's very natural and glowy um now that the skin has it had a chance to really settle it does look really beautiful um i do like the effect so i think that that primer now that it's had a chance to settle it looks really beautiful like it doesn't my skin looks natural again i have a little cat hair on my lip gross um but yeah, it does look like my skin again. It doesn't look like my foundation is sitting on top of my skin anymore, so that's really nice. I don't think I've ever disliked or have been disappointed in a milk product. My most recommended products, I'd say, definitely the Milk Baked Bronzer, the Flex Concealer, the Sunshine Skin Tint, if you like a light coverage and very glowy look. Um, I really love their lip care products, mostly the tinted ones for the lip balms. I just love the sheer effect and they're really nice to have in your purse at all times and I of course the lip glaze is just such a beautiful soothing lip care product and finally the hydro grip my favorite primer ever yeah but those are my top recommended products and yeah I do have a lot of favorites from this brand actually wow just popping in for a little check-in I wasn't planning on doing this but um here we are. I It's been nine-ish hours. It's eight o'clock right now. I finished around 11. Um, 
but yeah so let's zoom in and I'll show you what the makeup looks like still pretty fresh a little bit faded on the nose area especially right on my dry spot right here there's hardly any flex just a little mascara fleck that could be flicked away but no transferring which is really great and no creasing on the eyes at all which is super surprising the lipstick obviously came off I didn't reapply it during the day my elbow just made a fart noise <laughs> here's a super zoom shot of my skin it's pretty nice it's a little bit faded around the mouth I did have a Beyond Meat Burger from a w but it held up pretty nicely. I'm, I just love milk makeup so much. That's why I use their base products almost every day because I can really trust them and they just look so good all day. That is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to know what your favorite milk product is and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.